Hello and welcome back to another Japan Crate video. It feels like it's been quite a while, um, and today we are ringing in the new year with the January 2023 Japan Crate. This, as you can tell from the uh, cover alone, is all about the new year, and that is obviously the theme. So we're going to have a quick look at the box. There's lots of uh, ramen and those lucky lottery kind of things. Uh, there's some coins, I want to say. Fireworks, of course. Uh, that is Mount Fuji, because that, that's, that's big in Japan. We got one of those charms. A lucky envelope. I think that's where, like, traditionally you give money to people, I want to say. We've got... Uh, uh, is that a dessert? I think that's a dessert. And then back to the other stuff. So that is the design. We'll take a look at the side. That is the website. I'll leave a link to it below. That's the back. That is the social media. And below it actually describes New Year in Japan. So we'll take a look at this quickly. I will read it out because why not? So, 2023 is the Year of the Rabbit. I can't read the kanji, but um, it's probably Year of the Rabbit. A year predicted to be full of excitement, prosperity, and surprises that run in all directions, like a rabbit. Uh, in Japan, bringing in the New Year is an arguably one of the most important holidays, combining spiritual traditions and modern celebrations. So, on the morning of January 1st, it's considered good luck to participate in the first activities of the New Year, watching the first sunrise. Lining up to visit the shrine to do Hatsumode, praying to deities for spiritual blessings and good fortune, as well as, eat, as eating Osechi Ryori, small traditional foods inside a black multi laid bento box that are shared with the whole family. And then they say they uh, hope we have a fun, exciting year. Well, there's only one way to find out by opening up this box and seeing what's inside. So I'm going to tear through the thing. Uh, also, apologies for the lateness of this upload. This did arrive about five days ago, I think, but I've just not had a chance to record yet. So, we have the Happy New Year. Little bunnies around the shrine. Uh, and that is the back. I'm going to take a quick look inside the booklet, just in case there is additional stuff that isn't the cheat sheet, and I'll be right back. All right, there wasn't, actually. It just goes straight into the cheat sheet, so we'll put that to the side. As always, I won't be showing you what's inside, because we'll discover this together. Ooh. First up is... Ooh. Is quite an interesting one. This is... Rongugam, I think. Uh, rong... Long Chu, sorry. Not Long Gum. This is Long Chu. Rong Chu. Um, and that is... Chewing Gum Chi, I think, is what it says. Um, I'm going to guess this is cider flavour, uh, which is apple in Japan, but yeah, let's see. This is indeed long chew cider. Uh, for some reason in Japan it does seem to be that blue coloured like sweet snacks tend to be cider. Uh, and cider is obviously apple flavour. Oh, this is interesting. We've got gaburi chew. Gaburi? Okay, and um, that says choco. Um, it's like it looks like a chocolate um, ice ice cream kind of thing, which is interesting. Right, let's see what this is. All right, this is Gabrichu Soft Cola. Uh, so I was wrong, actually. I don't know why. I thought this looked like a chocolate lollipop, uh, but it does kind of look like splashes of cola, doesn't it, with the handle kind of thing? I don't know. I thought I read uh, choco on it, but. I was clearly wrong. Right, next. Ooh. Aha, it's whistle candy. Hang on, sorry. It is whistle candy, I do believe. Uh, this is Fue Gamu. Um, so, Fue um, is the onomatopoeia of whistling. Fue, sort of, with your mouth. Yes, I've, we've had these quite a lot. So, these are whistle candies, I think. All right, this is actually really cool. This is whistle gum. So, um, as I mentioned before, we've had whistle candy, which is just like hard candies that you blow in the middle and then you bite and they're like hard candy things. But these are actually gum. That's kind of cool. I may have one of these at the end, I think. Um, I really like the design as well. So I'll put that off to the side. We'll end the video with that, because I always try to have a snack at the end. Uh, ooh. We have Moochia. 
Uh, ooh, and M Muchi. Muchi. What is this? Number one. That's good. These are potato chips, I think. I have been... No, actually, no. Those are definitely potato chips. Um, Muchiko, I think. That says. Huh. Okay. Um, I'm very curious. What flavour are these? These are vinegar chips. They're sour vinegar potato chips. Okay, that's really interesting. And that's the um, hiragana for Sue as well. So I don't know what that stands for. Oh, this is the 30th anniversary or something. Well, stay tuned for my Japanese snack reviews, uh, where I will definitely be having one of those. I am horribly behind on the Japanese snack reviews. I do apologise. Um, I will get around to them. I do have one to edit quite soon, so... Uh, We've got Arufumanto, okay, and then this is Choco Reto, okay, so <laughs> chocolate. Um, oh, although, are those like hazelnuts? Is this hazelnut chocolate or something? These look like um, square kind of bonbon -bon kind of things. Hmm, let's have a look. This is chocolate chestnut. Sorry, I said hazelnut, I don't know why. Uh, but chestnuts obviously are kind of a big thing in Japan. I think they are a New Year's tradition or whatever. They sort of, I don't know if they symbolise something with their taste. Oh, this is an interesting... Ah, uh, okay. So these are fortune chocolate, I do believe. Uh, where the whole point is that, like, I think you pop a random one uh, from the top. And then depending on the colour, it'll tell you what your fortune is, I guess. Red is bad and pink is good. Um, right, let's see. So these are Petty Fortune Strawberry Milk. And yeah, as I said, they're kind of like a fortune kind of thing. So I didn't notice this, but underneath each of these is actually a word. Now, they're not the easiest to read, sadly. I might try to do some of these in the uh, Japanese snack reviews as well. I'll start the video off and we'll do some throughout the video, um, or something like that. Ooh, we... <laughs> oh, that's adorable! Ah, oh, it's a, um, it's either a chocolate... Oh, I think mine's slightly broken. It's either a chocolate or, like, a, um, chalky kind... No, not chalky, I think that's a bad description of it. But, you know, one of those sweet kind of things. Let's see what the heck this is. This is Panda and Piglet Mints. Uh, so actually, it's mints inside, as you can kind of hear, there's loads of little ones, I guess. Peel it back, and there's either a panda or a pig. I would have preferred the panda, to be honest, but hey, them's the breaks, man. That's, that's New Year's for you. Ooh. What is this? What the fudge is this? That is adorable. Um, okay, that is Purun Choo Choo. Right? I think that's what it says. Um, my hiragana is still a little bit... That is adorable! I want to know more about this dude. He looks a bit like a Quagsire or a Clodsire from the new Pokemon game. Uh, it's a DIY kit. Right, okay. This makes sense. Ah! That's incredible. So you can make this cute little dude. Alright, well definitely. I mean, this looks like quite an intense process, to be honest. But... I mean, if it produces something half as cute as that, I am fully on board with that. Let's see exactly what this is. So, this is the Sumiko Gurashi Purun Chuchu. Um, and, yeah, so it's, it's quite an in-depth thing. So, there's one of three designs. That's not as cute. I'll be honest, the one we got, I think, is probably the best. I haven't seen the third version. But, yeah, it, it's kind of interesting. You, like, fill moulds with water, and then you kind of pour the water out and mix something in, put it back in the mould and then leave it for like 30 minutes or something. Definitely, definitely going to be trying that out on Japanese snack reviews, so stay tuned for that. Oh, okay. So we've got Choco... Uh, so... Sofuto. Oh, right, chocolate. So okay, so this is chocolate ice cream, basically. Ah. That would have given it away a lot easier. So I think this is marshmallow, I think. It's a fake chocolate cone, basically, with, like, marshmallow ice cream, if that makes sense. Let's see. This is chocolate ice cream marshmallow. Uh, and, yeah, so, as, as I said, it's like ice cream, but it's made out of marshmallow. 
And I think that's chocolate in the centre, by the sounds of it. Oh! <laughs> okay! Uh, that looks like Superman. Oh, the front's a little bit... What is this? This is cool! It's like a little delivery truck. That's adorable! Got like a little driver there. You've got uh, Soneyaka, and I can't read the rest because kanji, sadly. This is this is um, fantastic. What what the heck is this? So this is delivery car strawberry mint. Uh, comes in one of five delivery things. So it's Japan's famous mail couriers, and it's strawberry mints in them. That is adorable. I've got like a Superman kind of looking dude on my truck. Very happy with that. That is incredibly cute. That is, that is very nice. Clearly meant for very small children. So it does show uh, my mental state that I am very pleased with that. We've got Yura, uh, Kora, oh sorry, Kora, not Yura, uh, that is Cola. Cola gum is what I'm going to guess this is. This is acorn gum cola, and apparently the gum is in the shape of an acorn. Very interesting, and obviously it has a cola centre. Right, next up, Ooh. what is, ah! Oh! It's um, Koala March. There we are. Sorry, sorry, that took me a second. I was like, what is it called? Koala March. Uh, yeah, so these are like koala themed biscuits. If you ever had uh, the similar ones called Hello Panda, but I actually prefer Koala March. I think the printing on the little like biscuit things are cuter. It's by Lotte. Um, yeah. I love Koala March. I don't know if this is... This is just chocolate flavour. That's cool. And yeah, so like the, the boxes love printings like he's flying a drone or he's dressed as a koala with a baby koala or he's he's chilling out with his son or something. Let's see exactly what this is. This is Koala's March. Uh, yeah, so this is like the standard box. They do do other flavours. I'm pretty sure I've had like strawberry koala march and stuff before as well but yeah it is very cute next up we have ooh, ooh for coffee break <gasps> yo is uh, so this is for coffee break <laughs> so <laughs> is this coffee flavored that doesn't tell me a lot i'll yo nescafe gold blend so this is a oh my god is this coffee kit kat I think it is. Okay, interesting. Let's see. This is Kit Kat Coffee Break. And yeah, it does have the mild flavour of Gold Blend by Nescafe. That, <laughs> that is really cool, actually. So, a fun fact about me. I love coffee flavour chocolate. I don't know what it is. I just, I just do. Um, it's sort of, because it's slightly bitter, but it's very sweet as well. I've noticed a very interesting thing about this box, which we'll get to at the end. Uh, we've got Noaru Crunch Chocolate, I think is what it says. Uh, that, that took me a second, because it's, it's not often you see, you know, the same letter. But yeah, Crunchy Chocolate. Um, so I guess they're like crunchy chocolate bars? Or like sweets? I, I don't know exactly what these are. These are really interesting. These are maple butter chocolate, and yeah, it's uh, noir chocolate or black chocolate and maple. That's really interesting, actually. Definitely going to be giving that a try. Next up, we have a oh, we're scone. Yes, and this is salt, salty caramel flavour. Really? Okay, interesting. So. The last pack of scone we had, I do believe, was shrimp flavour, and it was really nice, actually. They're a little bit like Cheetos, like crunchy Cheetos. Salty caramel. So this is like a sweet scone flavour. This is really fascinating. Right, let me double check. This is salty caramel puffs. And yeah, this is indeed like slightly salty, but also not salty, I guess, sweet things. Um, right, there are a half. There are a few things left. The first one is a do. Oh, I think is that Tokyo Revengers. I still haven't read or watched it. I think that's Tokyo Revengers. I think Yu Yu Hakusho or something. Um, let's see. 
It says Tokyo Revengers chewing gum and it's energy drink flavour. Um, and yeah, so that, that is Mikey right there. And again, I've not read Tokyo Revengers or seen it. I do know Mikey is a very popular character. That's some other dude. Let me know in the comments if you recognise him. Didn't we get Tokyo Revenger stuff last month? It was a drink, right? It, ooh. Mini fresh. Okay. What? <laughs> this, <laughs> it feels a bit like pills or something. That, Orion's mini fresh. Obviously they're mints, I think. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say they're mints, but like, it's like a plastic thing. That's really interesting. These are Orion Mini Fresh Ramune. So it's a mini bottle of Ramune flavoured stuff and you can add in a cake or cookies. Um, could do, I guess. I, I just have them regular. But yeah, I guess you pull the like thing off there. It's very cool though. I really like the like package of it because it is like solid plastic and stuff, which is getting rarer and rarer these days, obviously because of environmental things. And I do believe last but certainly not least is the drink. Ooh, this is a hefty drink. Uh, we have Skull Energy. Okay. Uh, ooh, ooh, I really like the uh, the can design. is cool, actually. Guessing it's an energy drink. Um, yeah, Skull Energy. Right, with a very cool blue bird. Let's see what this is about. Skull Energy drink. This is an interesting one. This is a milk-based soda. Um, is it limited edition? That I don't know how to feel about that. A milk-based soda. Now, sadly, I'm lactose intolerant. Uh, I will be trying a bit of this regardless anyway. Um, you know, but that is interesting. I really like the can, though. The can is cool. Uh, also very cold, because it is cold everywhere at the moment, because it's winter. Yeah, very interesting. Uh, and the last thing I wanted to mention, if I could, oh, that's cool. Happy New Year! Yay, look at that. But at the bottom, we got like confetti, which is cool. Because um, I kept grabbing it as I grabbed things uh, out of here. So that was really interesting. Hang on, we've also got a little bit of something else here. All right, tell us about the Kadomatsu. So I'll leave you guys read that if you want to read it in depth. But basically, it's kind of a traditional thing they leave outside homes and businesses to invite in ancestral spirits. Because uh, I know a lot of things uh, in Asian countries in general is about, of course, remembering, you know, your ancestors and previous generations and stuff as well. Anyway, I'm going to go arrange these now in the box and I'll be right back to give a recap and we'll do the whistle gum thing. All right, we are back. I've arranged everything in a mildly sort of pleasing manner, unless you've got a very strong OCD. Uh, and I've got to say, th this crate has been kind of fun. Um, it's been a lot of really nice things in it. I especially like the sort of like gimmicky things, like this truck or whatever. That's that's really cool. That DIY kit, I'm genuinely really excited to try out now, because I, I can make my own friend something I've never had. Uh, and also, we've got, you know, other things as well. That milk-based energy drink kind of fills me with dread and curiosity in equal parts. We've got some very interesting potato chip cho choices. We've got vinegar and we've got, like, si uh, sweet ones as well. Very interesting. But overall, I do like the theme of it. You know, it's kind of the new year and everything. They've gone all out with the box as well, which is very nice. I mean, they always kind of do that anyway. But yeah, overall, this is a nice variety of snacks and stuff. I'm looking forward to trying a lot of these in the Japanese snack reviews. As I mentioned in the video, they will be coming up soon. Sadly, I've just really fallen behind. I haven't been eating a lot of snacks recently, I'm sorry. But I will get on with that. But on the topic of eating snacks, let's try a whistle gum. So which... I'm going to go for the blue... Uh, the blue squirrel. I mean, it's not the year of the squirrel. Is there a squirrel? I don't think there's a squirrel in the Zodiac, is there? There's a rat, which is vaguely similar, sort of. Please, biologists, don't harangue me in the comments. There you go. That is the thing. Let's open it up. So if you've watched the Japanese snack reviews before, you'll know that you put this in between your lips and it sounds like this. Incredibly annoying. Uh, right, but, oh, 
I'm getting a bit of a, like, a banana taste from this. Maybe it, when it's just on my lips for a few seconds, though. Right, let's, like, bite into it. All right, I I was going to bite into half of it and show you, like, the inner workings of how the whistle sounds of the air and stuff were actually just all crumbled in my mouth. It is banana flavour. And you know what? I think this is the first banana flavour gum I've ever had. Now, it is, like, that fake banana flavour. If you've had fake banana sweets before, you'll know... It sort of tastes like banana, but also completely different and tastes like something else entirely. But it's something I haven't tasted in a while, actually. You don't you don't get that a lot. And I don't think the cheat sheet mentioned there is banana. But looking at the back, they are both very yellow as well. So I'm guessing these are all banana flavoured gum. It's very nice. Honestly, pretty cool. Um the taste has lasted a while. I'm like a minute into it now. I can still taste banana quite strongly. Yeah, you know what? Not bad. Um, it, it, it's a little bit confusing because it does crumble at the, that start. And you're like, oh, this isn't a the gum then, I guess. So it's gummy. But no, it does turn into gum. These are quite nice, to be fair. I'll definitely be keeping the other two as a treat sometime. Right, well, thank you guys very much for watching. Um, so again, sorry this is a little bit late. I might be receiving February's one in like a week or two. I don't know though. Japan Create are a little bit late with their things at the moment. It's not a massive criticism, but you know, don't expect it to be out a few days before the next month or the month it's of. But, you know, we'll see. Maybe it'll change for February. But... Uh, I'll leave a playlist to my previous J uh, Japan Crate videos just in case you haven't watched it. And I'll leave some other mystery video at the bottom there. And I'll let you get on with it. Thank you guys very much for watching. And until then, next time, Happy New Year and goodbye.